All right, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praise done to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, and the great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, pushing this truth all over the earth. <clears throat> and uh, Shalom to you, hopeful elect out there. I just want to just want to read this. <laughs> this Romans chapter nine, man, because this 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 puts when you read Romans chapter nine, man, that that puts a uh, a uh, a cut to to a lot of stuff, man. One that the promises and everything goes to other nations. That God, as it were, loves everybody. That He does not. Um, I was about to say. I just lost, just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought, man. But uh, we we just we just we just gonna read it, man. We just gonna read it. And I just want to touch on this. It's gonna be real quick, because. You realize that when people when people talk about promises and the most high loving everybody, when you bring out Romans nine, they don't have no answer for it, man. They 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 try to ask you another question. They try to beat around the bush. They try to talk about something else, man. And get off topic. This Roman nine cuts a lot of stuff, man. Dude, you're gonna read it, man. And that's, that's just gonna be. It. I just want to touch on this real quick. Uh, we're gonna start at at, at uh one, Roman nine and verse one. I say the truth. In Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself, it's like you, I wish myself were a curse from Hamashiach. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. Okay, let's stop right there. So who are Israelites? Let's see what what pertains to their Israelites, because it's about to say who what uh, whom pertaineth. Let's find out who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High, and the promises. Stop right there, man. So, old covenant, new covenant. For the Israelites, the giving of the law was what to the Israelites. And when you read in the old, when you read back in the law, Most High always said, "Speak unto the children of Israel." He told the prophets to speak to the children of Israel. Go to the children of Israel and say this and say that. Tell them to do this. When he was speaking to Moses, he told Moses, "Go to the Israelites." To the Israelites. up and, and and try to put themselves in when they read them when they read the epistles which are letters <laughs> to the israelites so this whole thing is about us man it's about the lord and his people the whole reason why we in this the whole, whole reason why we're in this situation is because we are the lord's people because we went off we we're being punished for what we did because we were given the law not to do this we knew right from wrong and what did we do we did wrong and why are we in the bottom? Why is this curses on us? Why we call black? Why we have these curses and bywords and all this stuff on us? Because we went off. Why? Because we were given the law. Let's get a precept. Let's get two precepts, actually. Let's get this first one. Psalm. One. 47 let's scroll down and then let's get um what is it Amos Amos 3 it doesn't really matter pop up so let's get this one first Amos 3 and verse 1 hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you 
for your iniquity. It was iniquity sin upon sin, man. That's why we're being punished. Because why? Because we were given the law. Let's prove that. Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Who is Jacob? The Israelites. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, man. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Where in the scriptures does he tell any of the prophets to go speak into the other nations? Go tell Moab and tell them not to eat pork and to do this and to do that. When did he tell them to do that? That's not in there. It's not in there. We were given the law. The Israelites were given the law. That's why we are being held accountable for what we did, man. That's why we're being punished as a nation. That's why the curses are upon us. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because it says, uh, it's paraphrasing it. If thou shalt not hearken diligently into the, to the voice of the Lord thy power, then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And then it starts listing the curses. So let's go back. Verse 5. Whose are the fathers and whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came, who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of the Most High hath not hath taken none effect, for they are not Israel which are of Israel. For let me read that over. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel, neither because they are Abraham, neither because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children. But in Isaac shall the seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of the most high but the children of the promise are counted for the seed and you know what they when you know you hear in the churches we're all god's children everybody in the world they're all god's children brother we're all he created us all we're all one we're all one it does not matter about your black or white or about your skin tone or where you came from we're all his children what does this just say it says <laughs> These are not, <laughs> not the children of the Most High, but where? But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Man. For this is the word of promise at this time. Will I come and Sarah shall have a son? And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived one, even by our father Isaac for the children. Here, here's the part. Here's the part that people can't people can understand right here, man. Because when, when you talk, when you go to the story of Esau and Jacob, man, what what, what do people say? That he, he hated his sin, brother. This cut that cuts that too, man. This cuts that too. He, he hated his sin, brother. He didn't like what Esau did, brother. Oh yeah, okay. Let's find out what the scripture said. Romans nine and verse eleven. For the children, being not yet born. Keep that in mind. They have not been born yet. Neither having done any good or evil. Esau and Jacob have not done anything good or bad. They're not even born yet. So you cannot say it is something that they did. That the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand. Not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her. The elder shall serve the younger as it is written. And where is it written? We're going to get a precept. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? And that right there. Also. Um, where's that? Sorry, it's like, never mind. Sorry, never mind. What should we say then? Let's keep going. What should we say? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. Turn this on. 
So people say, oh, is it Mosai? No, you can't do Mosai can't do that, brother. No, brother, he can't do that. What What does it say? Is there a righteousness in Mosai? Somebody before they were born? Before they were created? No. Why? Because the Most High is the Most High. He, he can do whatever he wants. This is his name. Most High can have compassion and mercy on whoever he wants. Same reason why he raised up Pharaoh. Just to destroy him. And the Most High made a, a group of people to raise them up to destroy them, man. He can do that. You know, brother, he ain't do that, brother. He loves everybody, brother. If he loves everybody, then why did he do that? Why did he raise Pharaoh up just to destroy him if he loves everybody? That doesn't make any sense. That's contradicting what, the, what, what, what we're reading right now in Romans 9. So obviously, something's not right here. He either does not love everybody. Or he does, which he does not. That's not biblical. You're not going to end. And to this day, you cannot find no scripture that says God loves everybody. God loves, God loves all or all his children. That's not in the scriptures, man. <laughs> That's not in the scriptures. Verse 18. Therefore hath he, therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. And what did he do? He hardened Pharaoh's heart. Not to let the people go. And then when he did let them go, what happened after that? He chased after them. And when he chased after them, what happened? The sea got closed on him, man. So if he loved them, why didn't he let them through? Why didn't, why didn't he let Pharaoh and his army through? Thou will say, Thou will say then unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who resisted his will? What? Romans 9 also because what? Free will. <laughs> Also, because that you do not choose what you want to do in your life, man. You don't. You don't choose what you want to do. It's just not how it works. Nay, but old man, who art thou? Who are you that replies against the Most High? Who are you to say to the Most High? Nah, you can't do that, Most High. You can't do that. Nah, you got to love everybody. You, 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 the supreme being. You got to love everybody. Every, we're all your children. You can't do that. Yes, he can. <laughs> shall the thing formed to this? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? I don't want to be the wicked. I, I, I want to be part of the chosen. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> have not the potter have power? O have not the potter have power over the clay? And who is the potter? The Most High. And who is the clay? Us. Of the same lump. To make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor, man. We're going to find out who the dishonorable vessel is. What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? And that he and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he afore prepared unto glory and predestination. <laughs> that also cuts to that predestination, which cuts free will. What, what did it just say? It said, and that he make known the riches of glory on the vessels of mercy, which is who the Israelites, which he had afore prepared unto glory. So let's get some precepts for this. Uh, 22. Long suffering. Vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. Let's find out. Isaiah 34 and verse 5. <clears throat> to get straight to the point. Isaiah 34 and verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. 
which is Edom. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. They are cur cursed to the most high's judgment. And there's nothing that you can say, do, disagree with, don't like, you don't want to hear. There's nothing you can do to change that. Why? Why? Because the most high has already made it that way, man. So if you don't like it, you don't believe it. Hey, <laughs> don't let the door hit you on the way out, man. It doesn't, it's, not, it's, it's not about us. It's not about what we want. It's about the most highest will, man. Let his will be done in the earth, man. <sighs> not our own. For people, when people, when you read out, when we bring out Romans 9, man, they don't like hearing none of that stuff, man. Because Romans 9 cuts a lot of stuff, man. Cuts a lot of stuff. The free will. God loves everybody. We're all his children. We we'll all get the promised land. We're all going to be kings on earth. The whole nation, everybody's going to be in peace and harmony and all this other stuff, man. It cuts a lot of things, man. It also shows you a lot of things, man. It really shows you that the Christians don't understand the scriptures, man. Because nothing that they say, they can back up anything, man. Tomorrow, tomorrow, he, he didn't like, he didn't, he didn't hate Esau. He hated, he hated his sin. Where is that in the scriptures? <laughs> because Roman 9 said before the children being not yet born. They weren't born. <laughs> it was already predetermined what was going to happen. The Most High made them to destroy them, man. You Christians can't. You Christians can't take that, man. You you hear something like that, you gotta go. Not my God. I don't serve that. I don't serve that God, brother. You 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 you. What did they say? You you. That's your that's your interpretation of it, brother. And you read it, cause you read it's gonna say the same exact thing of what I just read to you. Let's go back to it. The cuts, man. The cut. That's pretty much it, man. I didn't want to read the whole thing. I just want to get to that point right there because that touches on a lot of things, man. That Romans nine is that Roman nine is heavy right there, and that just goes to show that the Most High is in control, man. He does what he wants to do. I also show you that Most High didn't make no didn't make nothing that he couldn't control. Tomorrow, Satan rebelled and got some angels with him, had a meeting, and then some of them agreed with his plan. The other ones didn't, and yeah, it's up. The fallen angel thing and and Satan rebelled. Now he's in hell and all yeah, all that stuff, man. All that is just fairy tale and folly. Cause ain't none of that scriptural or biblical. You cannot find none of that stuff in the scriptures, man. You know you do find it at. You start finding them. Uh, and you start dibbling, dibbling and dabbing them other books. Let's read the book of Edom, brother. Let's read this and read that. Them itching ears, man, and then that brings you out the truth. Now, now you're bugged down. Don't know what's going on. Most High raised up these people to destroy them, man. The same reason why Pharaoh got raised up in, in, in the thing in the past. Raised them up so he can show his power in there. And the whole earth is going to know that, man. And the whole earth is going to know that. Same reason why this proud, proud, proud people, man. Doing a perfect job in the earth, man. A perfect job in the earth. And he's doing, he doing, hey, he's doing what he's doing, man. Most high is in control. Most high knows what he's doing, man. But what are we doing? We just living it out. Because we're nothing but just the clay. We're, we're a part of his movie, man. We, we don't call no shots. We don't call anything. We're just doing our role, man. That's all we're doing. And people, and you, you, these simple people, these simple people out here came to understand the concept of free will, man. They, they, if they're not even getting free will, you think you still have free will to do something, you're not going to understand the most high creating people just to destroy them, hating people, has a favorite of the people. Yeah, they're not going to understand that. You can't even understand the concept of free will. You don't understand that you don't have control of what you do. <laughs> but, hey, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, man. I'm going to close out. Give all praises unto Yahweh. Why Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Why Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, pushing the truth and sincerity all over the earth. Another shalom to you, hopefully, like that there. I'll catch you guys in another lesson, Lord willing.
Ciao.